Hello everyone and welcome to Van Test Corner. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Net Data on your OpenWRT routers. And Net Data consists of Net Data Agent and Net Data Cloud. So Net Data Agent is a package or application that show all the statistics about the system performance, such as the CPU, the RAM, the network, uh, inbound and outbound connection, and the firewall, and something like that on your local machine via a web browser. Meanwhile, NetData Cloud enable you to send the statistics to their cloud server, so you can remotely manage it, right? So for this tutorial, we will only focus on the NetData agent. And the installation process is very easy. First of all, let's log into your router. This is Habanero Development Kit from A device. So let's go to System and then Shopware. And first of all, let's click the Update list. Right? It will take some time to update the package database. So after that, we need to install that package net data right so net data is a highly optimized liner daemon providing real-time performance monitoring for liner system and something like that so it is finished and let's install net data right click intone install It will take some time, depends on the processor power. So let's be patient. All right, the installation process is finished. And now let's check it out. In order to access the net data GUI, we need to visit 192.168.a.1, which is our router IP address, and then 19999 and hit enter. And here we are the net data dashboard. So we have some very basic information such as the CPU, the net inbound and outbound, and the RAM, and the disk uh, write and read speed. And we also have some other information such as CPU and the load and the RAM and the network and the processors. And we can also take a look of the CPU utilization or the memory uses. Or we can also check the status of the network interfaces. So for example, we have the LAN interface and we have the WAN interface or you can even zoom in and zoom out just like this, right? Zoom in and zoom out and in order to reset the zoom, you can double click, right? So yep, ETH0 LAN interface and ETH1, which is our one interface, and we are running VLAN 35 for PPoE connection, and we can see the input and the output, and even the wireless VLAN. And here we can see some firewall statistics, such as the connections. So we can see that there is currently 760, 750 connection going through the firewall and let me try to run a speed test and see if the statistic is updated on the dashboard or not let's run it All right after this video i will have to uh, restart my router so that the public IP address will be changed to a new one so I don't need to hide anymore this one yep right let back and right here we can see that the statistic is updated and we have um, 231 inbound and outbound and actually why we're seeing that because the connection the data go from one interface from the internet to our router and then go 
out to the LAN, the computer. That's why we have inbound and outbound at the same, like almost the same, right? And you can go back to the history. You can see the historical data of the router as well. So as I mentioned before, we can zoom in and zoom out just like this. So I can zoom out. You can see the time is 1.33 and now it's 1.50. And to reset the zoom, we can just double click. All right, and that's it. So that's all for this quick tutorial. And I hope that this will help to monitoring your OpenWRT routers. If you want to remotely set the GUI with this port number, you can set up a VPN server and uh, connect to the VPN server to get into your network, or you can do a port forward then which is open this port number through the internet and you can easily remote it i'm currently working on net data cloud which is net data but it will send all the statistics or the real-time information to the cloud so that you can manage everything all in one dashboard and you don't need to navigate between different websites so just like this we have a a war room and then we can install the package and clamp the agent so we will have all the statistics right here so if i want to add a new agent i mean i want to add a new node or a new device to the war room i just need to clamp a new one so something just like this mm -hmm. add the node and then we have the script to clamp but this is something we are working on because right now we are unable to do this with our OpenWRT router. So that's all for today. And as always, if you have any questions or idea, feel free to leave it in the comment section and we will surely discuss. And if you see the video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to the channel to support me. Thanks for watching and see you in the new year 2021. Happy New Year everyone. Bye bye.